Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Tonight, we're going to have some brown beans with ham. They've been on the stove cooking all day, and let me tell you, <laughs> they smell really good. Um, but we're brown beans with ham, some fried potatoes. Yes, I love potatoes. Just about any way you fix them. I don't think there's any way you could fix a potato that I wouldn't like it. Um, fried potatoes, brown beans and ham, and pork chops. And I'm going to fix some cornbread. So, first things first, I'm going to get my skillet. I'm just making a small wheel of cornbread in my little cast iron skillet here. But I'm going to get this put in my oven and then turn my oven on to 400 degrees and let my oven heat up and let this cast iron skillet heat up while that is taking place. So, I'll be right back. All right, I've already got my potatoes peeled and cut up, so we're gonna get this cornbread fixed up. I'm just gonna be making a half a recipe on the cornbread. My husband's not crazy about regular cornbread. He likes that jippy cornbread. I don't call that cornbread. I call that a very odd tasting cake. But just for a half, an, half a recipe, I'm using a cup. No, three fourths of a cup. Three-fourths of a cup of cornmeal. I had to think for a minute. My brain was, it, it took a five-minute vacation and it rained the whole time. Probably sleeted the whole time. And a half a cup of flour, self-rising flour. Oop, make a mess, Mary. That's what you need to do. Just got my counter all cleaned off and then I want to make a mess. One egg. Three-fourths cup of milk. I should have put some lemon juice in it and made some buttermilk. One tablespoon, not two tablespoons, or a half. One tablespoon of oil. And that's all that goes in this. Alright, now all we got to do is just wait for that skillet to get hot, and then we'll dump this in it. Alright, that's got that mixed up. And y'all couldn't see a thing, oh, I'm so sorry. There's my cornmeal. Cornbread. Throw this eggshell in the trash. I think it finally quit sleeting here. I certainly hope so. Leastways for now. I think it's supposed to start back up again this evening. Now this is going to cook in a 400 degree oven for 35 minutes. I know tomorrow they're calling for a 50% chance of freezing rain. Y'all, I'm about to go stir crazy stuck in this house. I don't do well when I know I can't get out and go somewhere because of bad conditions on the road. It's enough to make you just about want to smack somebody and there ain't nobody here but me, so I ain't going to slap myself. But anyway, so we got the 
the beans are done. I just got them on simmer, real on low, so that the juice will thicken up and make that nice thick gravy. Woo! It's gonna be good, y'all. And then, like I said, I got my cast iron skillet in the oven heating up. As soon as it heats up, I'll pour my cornbread in it, pop it back in the oven for 35 minutes. I think that's what I said. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. I'll have to look again just to make sure. Anyways, then I'm going to get my potatoes going, and then I will get my pork chops going because the pork chops won't take that long to cook. So, y'all stick around. And we'll be back here in just a little bit. All right, my skillet's hot. Let me grab my cornbread mix. And we're going to dump this in this bowl or in this pan. Let By heating that oil up and getting it hot, it'll kind of set that crust on the bottom so you get a little bit more crispier crust. Now, back in the oven, 35 minutes. All right, we'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I had some baking mix that I normally would keep in this big container and I'd had it in there for a little while um, and the last time I used it it didn't rise like I wanted it to on the biscuits so I don't know if it went bad or not so I put it in my these are the pint and a half jars I got two cups of baking mix into each one of these jars and I'm going to vacuum seal these and save it that way. So put this, you put your little lid thing on here, put the hose on there, close this, and hit vacuum seal. I love this thing. And when I take that off, that lid's going to be sealed on there. And I did wipe off the tops of my jars really good. So there's nothing on the tops of those. We'll just wait for them, that little green vacuum seal light to go off. And then we'll take that lid up. Take the hose off. Take this off. And look at that. Vacuumed it down on there good. So I'm going to do the rest of these this way. And save my baking mix because when I use it I use it two cups at a time making biscuits so I'll just label this two cups baking mix and I'll be good to go so I'm gonna get this finished and we'll be back in just a little bit now it's time to put some potatoes on the cooking we're gonna get them dumped in and I'm using nature seasonings I see a lot of people using that anti-no-no seasoning. I think, I could be wrong, but I think this is basically the same thing. So, and it's quite a bit cheaper, I think. But I like nature seasoning, so I'm going to stick with what I know that I know is good. And that stuff is good. So, we got that on there. We're going to put a lid on that. We're going to let those cook for about five or seven minutes before we ever turn them. So they get good and brown on the one side. Then we'll flip them and get the other side browned up. So now we're going to get these pork chops going. We're going to let that grease heat up. Those are my brown beans back there. They're done. So we'll come over here and season up some pork chops. Now, ain't them some pretty looking pork chops? We're going to season them up with some nature seasoning. On both sides. 
And we're going to dust them with a little bit of flour. Now we're going to dust them with a little bit of flour. get a paper plate to put that on. Alrighty, that's got these done. As soon as the grease gets hot, we'll put them in there and get these fried up. Let me wash my hands and we'll be back. Alright, I got one in there. Now we're going to see if we can fit this one in there. shirt. You know you use flour. Alright, let's get over here to these potatoes and see what they're looking like. Nope, not ready. Let them cook a little bit longer. Not ready to turn just yet. So we're going to let these cook and then we'll be back. There's the cornbread. Took it out of the oven and we're going to Rub it down with some butter. Now, don't that look good? Hopefully, the bottom didn't burn. So, we're going to see. If it did, I ain't showing you. Hope it didn't stick. Didn't burn. Woo, that's hot. That looks good. All right, we're going to finish dinner and we'll be back. Now, these aren't quite as brown as they were the other night, but I'm hungry. So, uh, they're done. off in the floor, Mary. That wouldn't be good after all my hard work. Ow, that pork chop is hot. Alrighty, let's go over here. Well, I'm throwing all over the place. Here's my plate. Brown beans with ham, fried potatoes, pork chop, and cornbread. Alrighty. Let me get my husband's plate fixed and then we'll be right back. Okay. Dinner is done. 
brown beans. Mm -hmm. I hope my battery on my phone ain't going dead. <laughs> Yummy. That's delicious. Hot, but man, they're good and creamy. Pork chop. And some good old cornbread. We're going to dip it down in that bean juice. Yummy. Gonna throw that whole piece down in there. Just let it soak up. You'll probably appreciate it if I wouldn't talk with food in my mouth. I know I would. That's a little rude. <clears throat> hmm. That ham is delicious, y'all. Mmm. Man, that's good. Got ham from a pig, pork from the pig. It was just a piggy day. And it's delicious. But anyhow. <laughs> That's dinner. So, I'm going to end this video. I pray that you all have a safe night. That you stay safe. If you're in the line of this ice storm that's going through, stay safe, stay warm. Don't forget about your little fur babies. Because in this kind of weather, if they can be in the house, they really need to be in the house. If they got to be outside, make sure they got water. Because you don't want them to get dehydrated. In this kind of cold, it does not take long. So, be kind to your fur babies. <clears throat> but with that, I will say... To all of my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining. I deeply appreciate it. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time watching, I hope that you enjoy it. And if you do so, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, leave me a comment. I appreciate that. But if you haven't yet subscribed, I hope that you will consider doing so. Simple food, that's what I do. I'm all about simple. The older we get, the simpler things are, the better we like it. I tell my kids all the time, getting old ain't for sissies. So, figure out what you like in life and go for it. But, simple food, that's what I like. So, that's what I do. But, with that, I will say good night, God bless, and until we meet here again, have a wonderful evening.